they are wrong. You cannot save your way to financial freedom. Hi, I am Marcus Hardcutter and I help people to make more money, have more time and have more fun in their lives. People come to me because they feel stuck in their lives. They want to know what exactly I did to become a multimillionaire who is now traveling the world and enjoying life. When I talk to people at my live events, they often tell me that they worry about retirement. They often tell me that they try to save up money for retirement, but that it doesn't seem to be enough. I understand. Trust me, for many years I fell for the same trap. You have heard it. You have to spend less money than you're making. Live below your means. Save money every month. And many years ago, when I was still working for IBM, I did exactly that. Pinch a penny and save as much as possible, hoping that I could retire as a millionaire. You know what? That's bullshit. They have been lying to you. Let me prove it to you. So here's a calculator. This is provided by a website called Dinky Town. It's a compound savings calculator. So you can enter here your starting amount and let's say that you start with $10,000. Let's say that you have 20 years to save. The rate of return is 2% because honestly, that's what you're getting right now if you're investing in CDs or if you're putting it in a savings account. 2% is all you get. And let's also say that you do additional contributions of $500 a month. So let's say you're putting away $500 every single month and put it into the savings account. Where does this get you within 20 years? Look at this. Your estimated total is $162,218 after 20 years. That doesn't get you anywhere. Can you retire on $160,000? Of course not. Now let's say that the rate of return, interest rates will go up and let's say that we go up to 4%. What does that do? Well, it brings you up to $200,000. Now, let's say instead of contributing $500 a month, let's say you're really pinching a penny hard and you are saving $1,000 a month. It gets you to not even $400,000 in 20 years. This doesn't get you anywhere. Now, let's say that you start maybe with $50,000. You can play around with this calculator. I'll put the link right in the description here so that you can play around with it. As you can see, even if you save for 20 years and you put away $1,000 a month, only gets you to barely half a million dollars. So in a moment, I will show you how much you would have to save to meet your goals. And you will be shocked. Have you ever heard save your money so that you can retire rich? Have you ever heard this stupid stuff? Just stop drinking a latte every day and you can retire rich? Well, let me show you what that would do for you. So let's see, how much is a latte? Let's say it's $6 a day. So this makes $180 a month. Now look at this, with $180 a month, let's see if you start with $10,000, you would only have $87,000. So what stupid advice is this? Just save the latte a day and you can retire rich. It doesn't work this way. So now let's take a look, how much would you have to save to retire rich. Let's use a different calculator. So here is a savings goal calculator and let's say that you want to have a million dollars when you retire. And honestly, these days a million dollars is not enough. But let's say you want to have a million dollars and that you have 20 years to save for this. Let's say that you currently save $50,000 and that you can put away an additional $200 a month. With an expected rate of return of 4%, right now you're only getting 2%, but with 4%, see what happens? You could reach your goal in 57 years. It doesn't work. Look at this. You would have to save $2,000 $439 to only get to a million dollars, assuming that you had 20 years. Now, if you only have 15 years left, then you would have to save $3,707 per month to get your goal. Is this realistic? Of course not. That's why I'm saying you can't save your way to retirement. So before I show you what you can do to retire as a millionaire, Let's talk about another problem. Let's say you have saved $50,000 and now your car breaks down and you need to replace it. Or something bad happens and now you're sitting on a bunch of medical bills. Or you're getting divorced and have to start over. It happens to 50% of married couples. 
or one of your kids needs your help. Emergencies happen and you have to tap into your savings. And what now? You have to start over. So it's obvious that you can save your way to financial freedom. So what do you do instead? For me, there are only three ways to make a lot of money. The first one is trading stocks and options. The second one is investing in real estate. And the third one is building a successful business. Now I do all three and my favorite is trading stocks and options. Here are the three reasons why. Reason number three, when you want to invest in real estate or building a business, you need a lot of money. When you invest in real estate, you have to bring 20% of cash to the table. And if you want to invest in a $250,000 home, you have to bring $50,000 in cash. Now, if you want to open a business, you probably have to invest $100,000 to get started if you want the business to be successful. See, when trading, you can start with as little as $5,000. Reason number two, when trading, you don't have to rely on other people. Heck, you don't even have to talk to other people. All you need is a computer. There are no employees, there, there are no customers, there are no vendors. There are also no annoying tenants who trash your house. There are no busted ACs and, and water heaters. You get the point, right? I love that because trust me, I don't like talking to people. Reason number one, when trading, you can trade anywhere. You want to live at the beach? No problem, you can trade there. You prefer living in the mountains? No problem, you can trade there. And the way how I personally trade, you only need 15 minutes per day. So you have plenty of time to do the things you really love. Would you like that? If so, leave a comment below and say, trading is awesome. <laughs> okay, long story short, I believe that if you want to retire as a millionaire, you must find a way to make more money. The only three ways to make a lot of money at least in my opinion, are trading stocks and options, investing in real estate, and building a successful business. My personal favorite is trading stocks and options, and now you know why. One thing is for sure, you cannot save your way to financial freedom. Leave a comment below and let me know if you agree. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you know anybody who might like this video, feel free to share it. And I'll talk to you soon. Click on like and leave a comment and let me know what you think. And make sure to subscribe to this channel to get new videos automatically.